Hello yogis, this is Cassandra and I'm excited to share this practice with you which will be focusing quite a bit on twists. So twists are some of my favorite types of poses. They're a really great way to get a boost of energy. So this is a great class to do either first thing in the morning or you can do it towards the end of the afternoon when you're feeling maybe a little sluggish or lethargic. These twists are a great way to compress and decompress the internal organs. They help to get the blood flowing again and just give you that nice, happy, little energetic feeling. So we are going to start lying down on our backs. I have a block close by, but I don't actually plan on using it, so don't worry about having any props for this practice. We're gonna lie down and start in Shavasana. So with your legs and your arms out to the sides, just get yourself really comfortable and settled. Taking a moment here to get grounded so that you can let go of the day you've had or anything else that might just be on your mind right now. Make your time on your mat all about you. Doing something good for yourself. And if you'd like to set an intention for your practice, now would be the perfect time to do so. So what do you want to focus on? What is the reason behind you doing this class today? And we'll keep the left leg straight. Just start to bring your right knee in towards your belly. So pulling it in, stretching out the front of the hip flexors. Keep your left foot firmly flexed so the toes point up. And you can sway that right thigh a little bit side to side. Or it can stay still, really whatever is comfortable. We'll be taking our first twist from here. So you'll want to cross your right thigh over towards the left side of your body. Reach your right arm out to the side so your right shoulder stays down to the floor. You can use your left hand to lightly guide that thigh down. We want our chest to be facing up, twisting from the navel down. Breathing deeply into the low back and the outer edge of your right hip and glute. Coming all the way back to center. Let's switch sides. So pull your left knee in, right leg is straight. I'll start with this little stretch first and maybe just create a little bit of movement in your left hip by swaying the knee and the thigh side to side. Right foot is flexed. And we'll take it over into a twist. So left knee crosses over to the right. Use your right hand to guide the thigh down and reach out through your left arm so your shoulder stays pressing to the floor. Feel the breath travel all the way down into the low belly, even though you're twisting. One more inhale through the nose and exhale, release to your belly. Pull the knees in towards your chest and we're just going to rock up and down the length of the spine. Get some momentum until you can cross at the ankles and step back into your tabletop pose on your hands and knees. Just taking cat and cow, very, very simple here. Spread the fingers nice and wide, palms are underneath your shoulders, knees are underneath your hips. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze, and curl the tailbone up. As you exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. 
a few more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, contract. Following the rhythm of your own breath, try to keep the elbows straight. The crease of the elbows is pointing towards the top of the mat. A lot more weight into the fingertips and knuckles, less into the wrists. Take one more full cycle. And we'll come back into our neutral tabletop pose. So extend your right leg back, keep your toes on the floor. You're just gonna cross your right toes and reach them as far over towards the left side of your mat as you can. And then start to look over your left shoulder so that you're looking back towards your right foot. This should feel like a nice side body stretch. Coming all the way back to center. Re-extend your right leg, this time lift it all the way up towards the sky. Start to bend into that knee and you're gonna step it forward to the outer edge of your right hand. So both palms end up being to the inside of that leg. Start to lift your right toes off the ground and roll to the outer edge of your right foot. So you're pressing and externally rotating through your thigh. Press the hips down, keep the chest nice and lifted. Just get that stretch and release into your tabletop pose. Let's do that over on the second side. So left toes reach back, keep them on the floor, just cross them over towards the right side of your mat, and then start to look over your right shoulder, stretching through the left side of your waist. Coming back to center, float your left leg up, start to bend that knee, and you're gonna step that foot forward to the outer edge of your left hand. Palms stay on the ground, lift the left toes up and start to press and open up that knee down. So you should feel the stretch towards the outer edge of your hip and outer edge of your glute. Sinking down even deeper into the pose while lifting the chest up. Let's release into our tabletop pose, tucking the toes under, taking our first downward facing dog. So this is our first down dog, which means you might need to bend your knees a little bit more generously. Paddle the feet, do any little movements that feel good here. And that help protect your low back and protect your hamstrings. So normally we keep our feet and arms pretty far away from each other, moving from down dog to plank. But for this one, I'm gonna ask that you bring your feet in just a little bit. So you wanna narrow your downward dog and then bend your knees a lot. With your left hand, you're gonna reach your left hand towards the outer edge of your right shin and start to bend into that left elbow as you look underneath your right shoulder. So the knees can stay bent. We're just taking our first big twist here. And release, left hand down. Let's bring our right hand towards the outer edge of our left shin, bend the right elbow and look underneath your left arm. Pull the navel in towards the low back. Come all the way back to center and let's walk our hands towards the front of the mat. Taking your ragdoll fold, keep your, heap, uh, your feet about hip width distance apart, holding onto the elbows. You can sway a little side to side. Bending the knees generously, slowly rolling up to stand, inch by inch, head and shoulders a little last to make their way up. Go to the front of your mat if you're not there already. We're gonna bring our big toes together to touch. Heels are about an inch or so apart. Hands at the heart, lower down into chair. So knees bend, hips drop down. Rock the weight back into the heels so there's less weight into the balls of the feet and keep your chest lifted. Tailbone is reaching down. You're not over exaggerating the flat back but you really just want to engage the lower abdominals. Find lift on the inhale and as you exhale, you're going to twist left elbow over the top of your right thigh. Press your palms together firmly and make sure your left knee is not going further than your right. Keep them in line. Sink the weight down a little bit more. Let's look down towards our feet to help with balance. Lean on your right leg and see if you can pick up your left toes off the floor. We're gonna step it back into a lunge, coming back into our twist. So press the palms together, pull the right shoulder back and open up. Now legs need to be super, super strong. You're gonna press down into both feet and come all the way up into your regular high lunge. Right knee is bending generously. Chest is lifted up nice and high. 
As you inhale, you lengthen. On the exhale, reach your left arm forward and right arm back as you open up into a twist. Pull that right shoulder back. We'll do that a few times. Inhale forward and exhale, open up. One more like this. Inhale up, exhale to open. Coming into our easy twist, left palm comes down to the floor, right arm reaches up to the sky. Only looking up if that's okay for your neck, otherwise leave it out. Looking down, right hand to the floor. Let's take our first full vinyasa. Inhale into your plank pose. Exhale to your belly. Point the toes back, press into the feet, lift up chin and chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three deep breaths here. Extending and reaching through the arms, nice and strong. And we'll need to make our way to the top of the mat. So you can step up or you can lift your heels, bend your knees, look forward, stepping or hopping. Halfway lift once you're there, flat back. Exhale, fold it down. Press to stand, both arms reach up overhead, palms come together to touch. And draw your hands together at the front of the heart. At the top of the mat, let's take chair pose. Bend the knees, drop the hips. Rock the weight back into the heels. As you inhale, lift. On the exhale, twist. Right elbow over your left thigh this time. Keep your knees in line. Sink the hips a little lower. And look down towards the floor. Lean onto your left leg and see if you can pick your right foot up. Stepping it back, high lunge. Make your way into your twist. Left knee is bending generously. Try to keep your belly off of that thigh. Press into the leg so you can come all the way up into your crescent lunge. Left knee is bent, right leg is relatively straight, maybe just a little bit bent. Drop your hips. As you inhale, lengthen. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm back. Nothing changes in the legs. Inhale up and exhale, twist the same way. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, open the arms, easy twist. Right hand down to the floor, left arm up. Moving through your flow, left palm comes down to the floor. Inhale to plank pose. Exhale, lower down. Point the toes back, lift. And let's come to child's pose, exhale. Arms reach forward, take five breaths here. And back into our downward facing dog. From this down dog, let's reach our right leg up towards the sky. Keep it straight and squared, and you're gonna step it through for warrior one. So right foot in between the palms, left foot parallel to the short edge of your mat, or sorry, not parallel, about open at a 45 degree angle or so. Right knee is bending generously, facing forward. Really reach through your back heel. Let's start to bring our hands at our heart. You're gonna straighten the right leg and bring your back toes in just a couple inches. Start to hinge forward at the waist until you're about parallel to the floor. So either the left fingertips come down on the ground or they come down on a block with your right hand on your hip. We're gonna take our twist here. So this is revolved triangle pose. Start to pull your right shoulder back as you open up the chest and then maybe the right fingertips reach up towards the sky. Take one more breath to open up, and then look down, right hand on your hip, square off the hips, palms at the front of the heart, lift and come all the way up. 
We're gonna come to stand on our right leg into our standing pigeon pose. So stand on that right leg and you're gonna cross your left ankle over the top of your right thigh. Start to bend into the knees as you send your hips back and your chest forward. This is option one, there's already a lot going on, so feel free to hold here if this is enough. If you did want to take a twist in this pose, you can by crossing your left elbow and bringing it roughly towards the middle of that left foot. And then you're trying to press your palms together nice and firm to open up the chest. And if you fall out of it, no big deal, it happens to everyone at least once. Just keep focusing on one thing that's not moving to help you out with balance. If you were in your twist, you need to look back down and slowly come back up. Let's unwind the legs, float that left knee up, step it all the way back into your lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms down, take your flow. Inhale to plank. Exhale, maybe chaturanga this time, hold and hover halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Straightening out the arms, pressing the chest to the thighs. Over to the other side, left leg up. And step it through for warrior one. Back heel grounds down to the floor. Arms extend up overhead, left knee is bending. Try to pull your right hip back. So you're always facing towards the front of your mat. And then hands can come to the front of the heart as we straighten our left leg and bring the back foot in a couple inches. Square yourself off, inhale, lift. Exhale, start to hinge at the waist. Flat back, once you're parallel to the ground, drop your right fingertips either on a block or down to the floor. You can always bend your left knee a little bit if you need to. Start to pull your left shoulder back as you open up the chest and maybe the left arm extends up towards the sky for your revolved triangle pose. Pull the lower belly in, press actively into both legs and both feet. Only looking up if that's okay. Take one more deep belly breath, and then left hand comes to your hip. Start to look down on the floor, press into both legs, hands at the heart to come all the way up. We're gonna come into our standing pigeon pose again. So stand on your left leg, and cross your right ankle over the top of your left thigh. Send your hips back, leaning your chest forward. This is option one. Option two, take your twist. This time it's right elbow, to the sole of the right foot, pressing the palms together firmly as you try to open up the chest. Wobbling is normal. Try not to hold your breath, it won't make the pose any easier. Press down into that left leg, so you can slowly start to come all the way back up. Pull your right knee in towards your belly and step it back to your high lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, palms to the floor. Let's take our last vinyasa. Inhale to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to your up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. So this is our last little down dog. Make the most of your time here, stretching out nice and long, pressing into the heels. And let's bring our knees down to the ground. Swing your legs out in front of you. And we'll take a seated twist from here. So you'll need to pull your right knee in towards you and cross your right foot over the top of your left thigh and then bend your left knee so that your heel comes right next to your right hip. Ground down so you have a stable foundation. Right fingertips go behind you. As you inhale, left arm goes up. And then exhale, hook the left elbow to the inner thigh crease. Pull your right shoulder back and open up the chest.
One more breath in. Exhale, release. Before we go do the, do the other side, let's take a quick boat pose. So float the legs up, arms reach forward, shins are parallel to the ground. Lift up. Inhale here. And exhale, release. With your right leg straight, cross your left foot over the right thigh, and then bend your right knee so you can bring your heel in close towards the glute. Plant that left foot down left fingertips go back inhale right arm up exhale hook the elbow over the thigh and open up the chest Release and unwind. Let's take boat pose one final time. Hover the shins, the legs off the ground. Maybe you can straighten the legs second time around. Keep the heart lifted and up. Pull the shoulders back, inhale. And release, lower all the way down to the floor. Let's keep our knees bent, feet flat on the mat. Reach your arms out into a T. Taking a laying spinal twist. Press the feet into the floor so you can lift your hips and shift them over towards the right before dropping both knees over to the left. So you can either choose to keep one knee or one leg stacked over the other, or if you'd like to go even further, you can wrap your right thigh over your left before letting the knees come down. Try to keep both shoulder blades grounded so the chest is facing up. So we are starting to slow down our practice which means we also want to slow down our breath, maybe even close the eyes, focusing inward. This is a wonderful pose to do if you have sensitivities in the low back. Let's engage the belly a little bit so we can float the knees back up to center and uncross the legs. Moving over to the other side, bring your hips over to the left and you can either just drop the legs down or you can wrap your left thigh over your right. This time trying to keep your left shoulder anchored to the floor. Breathing deeply. Three more deep breaths. Letting go of anything that doesn't need to be working right now. Let's bring the knees back up to center, uncross the legs, and just pull your knees in towards your belly. Curl head and shoulders off the floor, bringing your knees towards your nose, and release as you expand into Shavasana. Closing our practice here in a way that supports your back, 
Feel free to keep your knees bent and feet flat to the ground. If it feels like pinching or compression. Coming back to whatever breath is natural to you. Thank you so very much for doing this twisting practice with me. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a fantastic day. Namaste.